Hello guys, we are here with you with the 11th episode of Lumion 10 tutorial. If you remember, we had a decent render from this scene. But this is for spring and summer. Now we want to get a render that is in autumn. First thing that we will do is in grass. If you remember, the lower layer was grass. We click on it and then we make the grass a little less. And then in color, we change the color of grass. Some orange light color. From here, we increase the color. We could make it a little more pale. Yellowish wouldn't be that bad. And let's decrease the size and amount of them. So we see the soil and the ground more. We change it like that and some things that are happening we have two options to create an autumn like scene first one is that we can click on each tree and from this part which is here in saturation we can change the color to yellow and reddish like to make it more autumn like the second one so this was first option to do it one by one the second one is that when we are in our render we just click on it to go back to the shutter position let's turn off the reflection to increase the speed and in this part, in object, we select autumn colors. So in this part, you can increase the hue and saturation for all of the areas all together. So everywhere is increasing together and you can change the range as well. and variation as well to have more different colors as well but be careful with hue and variation because when you increase your hue and variation all together it will be too vile and do it a little slower so we have target layer as well and pay attention when we have trees for example when you, we move trees high detail trees we select all of them and from this part we send all of them into layer number two and in this part when we are choosing the setting for render we can choose the target layer on second layer and as you can see bushes on the ground are not losing their color and we are just changing the color for our trees so we can just change the plants that we want and the part of the design that we want like that So our trees went to autumn light, but I prefer to do it all together and change all of them together. Mm. 
in order to get to more autumn like theme on the ground we can use or move some of these bushes and on the ground in nature tab the thing that we can do is we activate leaf and place some leaf on the ground like this we place them on the ground we can even remove our grass as well nothing special would happen if for example we make the height of them very very low and as you can see most of the area will be our soil and the parts that you can access the building from We have some items in forest wood and place some wood on the ground, one by one. Like some tree trunk and stuff like that. And so we need some deep changes here in these items as well this is one thing and in effect pay attention in effect and on the last tab which you can see you can choose leaves and place them on the ground which they are moving in our area for example here we place some leaves a place that is close to our camera so when you click on it, it you can see the properties to manage the wind direction from one side to the other side size of your leaf how you uh, your leaves, the amount of your leaves, and the direction of them. Like that. So, as much as we place them one by one on the ground, but unfortunately, because our ground got some slope and it's all angled some of the leaves are hanging on the ground and on the earth we have these and from this part we can place them like that well preferably having less leaves is better than leaving them hanging on the air which creates something very unnatural so we created the scene and now let's add some moisture and from the other side, we can add reflection and test our render after that. But before doing that, we can make some changes. So in real sky, we can use sunset and put more emphasis in the area. But it doesn't mean that it will be much better necessarily. But for this, let's just try that.
so it doesn't seem too bad to place it here. So the thing that we'll do here that let's activate our reflection again to get a better outcome. Now let's get our render to see how our shot will look like. And as you can see, it got a autumn like theme. But the place that there's reflection on the ground, we need to correct it. We need to remove it or reduce the moisture there and reflection. I prefer to increase the amount of grass on the ground. They were helping us to have a better understanding from our render. So now here we'll do two things. The first one is to make these falling leaves closer to the camera and create a little field of depth. And the second part is to increase the amount of grass that we have in our shot. Let's go back to our setting, turn off reflection, and get to work. So let's increase the amount of grass. And from the other side in object, we go to effects and we select move. And we activate move horizontally. And we move them closer to the camera so we can see them inside our shot. So we've changed it. Go inside the camera. I think this one is much better. And in camera, we activate depth of field. We activate out of focus. And we increase the amount just a little bit. And when you want to take your shot, don't forget to activate reflections again. But for now, let me go back and remove extra fog addition again to get a blue sky again. Let's go back to render and save this on the previous render. And as you can see, we have our render again. We go inside Photoshop again and we load this render. Let's see what will happen with these small effects that we apply in raw camera filter. We can increase the yellow theme a little bit. Or even do the opposite. To see how much the light increase. Contrast a little bit. Decrease highlight. 
make the shadows lighter this time. We increase the whiteness and a little texture, a little clarity. And with vibrance, we can increase density of color, and with saturation, we can decrease them. Like that. So we select medium contrast, make it a little sharper. We apply a little noise reduction as well, and as you can see, when we apply noise reduction, in some parts it will make the details a little less. And as you can see, we are making the yellow more dense. I like to increase the amount of green as well. And increase the blue as well to show the sky, to give some color to our sky. You can even turn your greens towards yellow as well. You can turn your yellows towards red and orange. In general, like in this part, we can add an orange theme to the whole picture. I, I usually prefer not to do that. And as you can see, we have a sharper render like this. So with a very simple technique, we learned how to create Autumn Scene. So we could use Autumn Generator or change each tree one by one and change the color in here and saturation. I hope you enjoyed this episode and be well.